Today we're going to talk about this tiny electronic auto dolly from Yelangu. You can use it to mount your smartphone, action camera, or mirrorless camera to make smooth and stable movements such as sliding left or right, push in or pull out, and even orbital shots. This is the Ilangu L4 Autodolly Gen 2. It is rated to carry up to 3 kilograms of weight. So it can hold anything from a mobile phone to a DSLR camera with a lighter lens. It has also been rebranded by other companies like Numer, Endure, and Tarion, but basically they are all identical. Now I have the Gen 2 version which is an improvement of the first iteration. And this is what the first generation looks like. So this is the box that it came with. Inside the box, we are greeted with a user manual and warranty information. A double-sided mounting thread where one end is a 3 8 thread and a quarter 20 on the other. We also have the remote which is powered by a CR2032 3V lithium-ion battery. A micro USB charging cable. A spare rubber wheel cover. An Allen wrench. And last but not least, the auto dolly unit itself. So this dolly has a fixed front wheel and two rear wheels that you can adjust the position depending on what movement you are going for. At the bottom, you can adjust the length of the dolly if you are planning to mount it with a bigger camera or put it on top of a slider. On this side, you will find three LED indicator lights that determine its speed. One light on is the slowest, two lights is medium, and three lights is the fastest. It also has the speed button which can be controlled by the remote and the direction button to change between left to right or vice versa. On the other side you will find the micro USB charging port and the on off button. This dolly has an internal battery that is ready to last for 6 hours on full charge. This thing is made up of some type of metal or aluminum alloy. It weighs around 420 grams and I would say that the build quality is great. The remote is very simple and it only has 3 buttons. At the top you have the start and stop button. And down on the left is the direction button. And the one on the right is the speed button. Like I mentioned earlier, the wheels can be adjusted in many ways to make some interesting camera movements. Now here is a comparison of the 3 levels of speed that this dolly can go. The top is the fastest. The middle is medium. And the bottom is the slowest. Okay, now let's mount the camera to this thing and show some sample footage. Now one thing to keep in mind though is that you need to put the dolly on a smooth surface to get a smooth movement. Like a table or any hard and flat surface. Also, it is best to get a ball head so you have a lot more options for positioning your camera. And here are some sample footage with the auto dolly. So that's it guys. Overall, I do think that this is a very useful device, most especially if you really want to get that smooth and stable shot. You can use it for product b-roll shots, sliding landscape shots, and any other shots that require smooth movement from left to right or vice versa. And since it is small and compact, you can just slide it in your camera bag. So it would be a nice addition to your camera gear. How about you guys? What do you think? Will you get one? If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will post a link on the video description on where you can buy one. Don't forget to like this video, share it to your friends, make sure that you're already subscribed, and click on the bell icon so you will be notified when I release a new video. Thank you for watching.